All right, so if you own a house in the Chicago area and you have a tenant that is not paying, we're gonna go through your options in this video. Before we jump into that, I'm sitting here with John Goodrich with I Buy IL. If you're in this situation, his information is gonna pop up right now. I would encourage you to reach out to John because he could help you out. John, let's just jump right into it, man. How do you typically approach a situation where a property has a tenant that is not paying rent? Well, I think every landlord in the Chicago area um, has heard the horror stories and they're true, right? Tenants not paying. Illinois has strong tenant rights. So how do I approach that? First, I just like to have a very basic conversation with that tenant. How can we help move them out? It doesn't always work. So after that, you'll have to post notice and go through a process that could take 30 days to a year. Who knows, right? The process is very difficult. Now let's get into the process in a little bit more detail. So obviously you need to give notice and that'll be depending on the lease terms. What what does the eviction process look like for somebody that is not familiar? So, so the eviction process begins with likely one notice to vacate the premises, then likely a second notice to vacate the premises. And during this time, you'll be working with an attorney to schedule to get you into the eviction court, right? Um, and sometimes you'll get to the eviction court and that judge will say, well, now's not the time. Come back and see me in 30 days. Um, at this point, we're generally into the process by 90 days sometimes 120 and likely there will be two or three two or three extensions of that before you get to a point where you can even get a sheriff scheduled. Um, when you get a sheriff scheduled, it could be between 30 and 90 days before the sheriff shows up. Um, and with that, don't forget, you'll only find out the morning of the eviction what your window is. And if you don't show up, they will not open the door for you. Yeah, that's always the funnest part about working with Chicago, right? They're like, hey, we're doing this today. If you're in um, Cook County awesome. and you don't show up, that sheriff will not open that door. They will just keep on driving. Absolutely. So what other complications are there? So I could tell you, like in some of my evictions, we've had issues with serving the tenant and stuff like that. And that could delay your court case months. So like, let's talk about some other complications that could come up during the eviction process, because this could be a three month process. It could be a two year process, depending on how dialed in you are You know, if, if and the, how yeah. adversarial the tenant is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you have, if you have an educated tenant who understands what their rights are, you know, likely they will pay you some money to extend in which that case, um, like Likely a judge will say, well, they have the means to pay you something and they will continue to work with that tenant until they paid you off, but they will still stay in that property. Weather plays a large factor, right? Sometimes in Chicago area, if it's raining, snowing, or below a certain temperature, evictions will be halted for that day. Um, and then again, you're going to have another 30 days potentially or 60 days until it gets rescheduled um, because it just backs up everything from that day and you're just right back to the beginning. Yeah, there, there's a lot of pitfalls in the situation and, and tenant rights. Absolutely, man. So like, what kind of resources are available for landlords out there that are in a situation where they have a tenant who's not paying? So I, I, I feel like your only resources in Chicago area, Cook County especially, would be an attorney and a lengthy, well-documented process. If you're not able to serve those tenants and get proof that they've viewed anything you've put on their door or received, you'll just keep going to court until that judge decides they've had enough. Um, otherwise, if they've if they not received those documents legally, you can put anything you want up. If you don't have proof they viewed it, basically you did nothing. Absolutely, man. So if there's a landlord out there, they found themselves in a situation where their tenants are not paying rent and they want to prevent this from happening in the future. What kind of tenant screening processes would you recommend for them so that they don't find, I mean, obviously nobody could figure this out 100%, but at least mitigate the risk. Yeah. I, <laughs> you know, if you're looking, um, your average goal for a tenant is just someone who is steady paying will maintain the property and make you aware when there is an issue. Potentially they're going to pay late, but as long as they're paying and they're making you aware of issues. You just want a complete background check, right? You want to run credit. You want to take a look at a background check for them and see if there's any red flags in that that would prevent them from paying you. Okay, makes a lot of sense. So if, if there's a landlord out there, their tenant is no longer paying rent. Obviously, they have some financial obligations. They still need to pay their mortgage. They still need to pay taxes and stuff like that. And sometimes they might not be able to have the resources to go through the eviction process. So if they didn't have the resources to go through this lengthy process, what other options would they have? You know, with an investor, a cash investor like myself, um, potentially there's some creative ways we can put together a solution to get to the end of this, right? We can um, help 
help resolve the tenant issue and then take some of the financial burden off of you during that time. Okay, so you start to create over there and I know where you're going. So let's kind of give a little bit, let's flesh that out a little bit more. So like what are, you're probably talking about an equity protection type program. Could we give them some information on how that would look? So, so sometimes in a situation you purchased a rental property, most likely this is a single family property where you have a mortgage and where you're looking at a long-term asset protection um, and you wanted to rent it to pay for the property. If the renter's not paying, you still have a mortgage payment, you still have taxes that are due, you still have insurance. Sometimes in the right situation, I'm able to take over that process from you. I will pay the mortgage, taxes, we'll take care of that and we'll work on the eviction for the property. And then at close, we can pay you out after the tenant's gone, we can pay you out a cash settlement on the property. Okay, tremendous. So like, obviously there are other scenarios, like maybe the equity protection isn't going to be the best case for this particular seller because they might be in a place of hardship due to this tenant. So like, were you willing to pay cash for a property if there's a tenant in there not paying that is not evicted? Hey, sometimes we buy it with the tenant in place and we remove them later. Okay, cool. So what would that look like? What kind of time frame would you be looking at if you were to buy cash with a tenant in place that needs to go? Yeah, so it's a little more difficult, right? It kind of depends on how cooperative a tenant is. Uh, some tenants are cooperative when they understand the property is being sold and uh, we can come up with an equitable solution to view the property and make you a fair offer even with the tenant, which I will remove them later, right? We'll take the burden off of you to to go to court, take care of that eviction process. It's close to a regular as-is purchase. Just want to take a good look at the property, want to see how the tenants cared for it, and then make you an offer. Okay, and then what kind of circumstances were selling the property as-is with a non-paying tenant to a cash buyer like yourself? Like, What circumstances do you think that would make most sense to a seller? So I, I feel like if you have a property that has a large amount of equity in it and, and you don't want to do the process or don't have the funds to do the process and the property is in a state of disrepair where once you remove the tenant, you will have to spend a decent amount of money to repair that to rent again. I feel like those are the best circumstances for someone like me. Okay. This is one we get a lot. So I wanted to throw it out there. Like, Can a landlord sell a property as is to a cash buyer without notifying the tenant? Okay. No, you cannot. Um, you, you need to make your tenants aware that there will be a sale. And, and again, I will want to speak to the tenants also. We don't want to surprise anyone. We don't want to create hardship for anyone unnecessarily. So if, if you're planning on selling it, a lot of times I will look at the property and if we agree on something, then we can approach the tenants together and have a great conversation of, hey, this is how we're moving forward. Um, and at the, this amount of time, this is where everything will be going is to this person here. No longer me. I'm giving up my equity in the property. All right, man. That makes a lot of sense. Is there anything else you would like to add? I'd like to add tenants. Selling with tenants is still possible. Um, although I do find that a lot of people, once the tenant is gone, they are selling, but selling with a tenant in the property, it's still possible for me to purchase those. All right. Very cool. Thank you very much, John. If anybody out there has a tenant not paying right now and they needed a cash buyer or an equity protection program, what would be the best way for them to get in touch with you, man? Hey, John Goodrich, I buy IL. Call text or email information's below reach out and we can have a conversation all right guys there you have it if you have a tenant that is no longer paying in a single family home anywhere in chicago reach out to john he could help you out thanks for watching this video we'll catch you on the next one